Hello folks and thank you for joining me for this Return to College video. Now we're really excited about seeing you back on site next week and when you return you'll see and feel that much is as it was in the autumn term but there are some key differences and this video will help to explain all of those. The first big difference is that we are going to be testing all of you in the first two weeks and to do that we've turned the sports hall into a testing centre and that's where you need to make your way towards when you first arrive with your parents on your first day back. It is really, really important, I can't emphasise this enough, that when you come over to the sports hall, you keep socially distanced from your friends who you might be meeting in the car park. If you are within one metre of any person for more than a minute and your lateral flow test comes positive, or theirs is positive, then you'll have to isolate before you've even returned to school. So until your test has been completed, make sure you keep those two metre distances in mind. So let's go to the sports hall and I'll explain how things will work. So as you come over, you'll be directed into the sports hall in one of two entrances by members of staff. You'll either come in by uh, the gym or you'll be asked to go through to the, to the swimming pool entrance at the other side. I'm going to pop my mask on now. So once inside you're all register at the desk here and members of staff will be asking you for a few key pieces of information that you might have on the form that Miss Flint has sent to you. If you don't have the form, that's fine. You need to let members of staff know your date of birth, the first line of your address, your postcode, and a parental mobile phone number. So that information will be given here, and then you'll receive the registration card that you can see now, and the free barcode. So you keep both of those together and make your way to the waiting room. So we're going to ask you to wait in either the girls or the boys' changing room and you'll see that seats have been placed at socially distance so whilst you're waiting you will still be two metres apart. And then you'll be called into the testing centre, so if we follow me again. And you'll see the gymnasium has been turned into our testing centre. So you'll be asked to sit at one of the booths, so I shall do that now. And opposite you will be a member of staff. Many of them you'll recognise because they are college members of staff. And they'll take you through the process of having the test. It involves one of these, a short swab, and you'll need to place it in your mouth and in your nose for a certain amount of time. Don't worry, the, the people here will take you through all of that. It isn't something that takes very long. It isn't uncomfortable. You'll be through that part of the process in about a minute. You'll give one of your barcodes to the member staff over here, and then you'll be asked to move into the waiting area. So let's get done there. You can kind of see at this part of the gymnasium is the processing centre, um, where your tests will be processed. So there'll be lots of members of staff working on those. We'll ask you to take a seat on one of the chairs here and it takes 30 minutes for the test to be processed and when yours has uh, you will be called out, uh, your name will be called out and you'll be asked to join a member of in the stall in the small space here where you'll be given the result of your test. Now if the test is negative then you'll be free to either join your lessons or join your boarding house. If the test is positive a member of staff will take you through what happens next but ultimately, uh, your, your parents will be asked to return you home. Uh, once all of that is done, you'll exit. Okay, so that might all seem uh, very different and something that you're not used to before, but I promise you the experience is one that won't be too difficult. And as I said, members of staff will take you through every step, so please don't worry about the testing part of the return to school. Now, it is really important that we don't think that because we are all being tested twice a week that we have nothing to worry about. In fact, it is quite the opposite, really. You will be aware of some of these new variants that, that have been on the news and the government is quite concerned about them. And in reality, the way that we guard against those is doing the same things that we did before Christmas. But we need to make sure we absolutely are doing them. So washing hands. Every time you enter a new classroom, you will be asked to sanitise your hands. I know we were all doing that, but it did drop off a little bit at the end of last term. So teachers are going to remind you about all of that. 
Ventilation is really important. So expect to see your classrooms with windows open, boarding houses with doors open. And if you're a boarder, we'll ask you to make sure that your doors and windows are open as much as possible. We won't want you to be uncomfortable, but purging the air is something that's really important. And as much as possible, we need to avoid physical contact. I know that in sitting with people in lessons and in the refectory, there's a certain amount of, of closeness that is just going to happen in school. But as much as possible, we need to make sure that we aren't physically touching other people in the community. Now, as a college, we were amazing in the autumn term. We didn't have to close any boarding houses. No one's education was disrupted. And it's because all of this pulled together to make all of this work. Now, we've got the last little bump to go before much brighter days are ahead. But I do need to ask all of you to make sure that when you return, you stick to these measures and we can look forward to a much brighter 2021 as we emerge out of this pandemic. Enjoy your last few days at home and we'll look forward to seeing you in school in the next few days. Take care. Bye bye.